scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. And we thank you for your faithfulness. Who is there like you? There's no one beside you, and I lead to you to worship you. Who is there like you? There's no God beside you. I lead to you to worship you. No God beside you you celebrate someone hallelujah please be seated god bless you thank you i want us to celebrate a good old friend of mine and the ministry pastor femi john it's been a long time good to see you sir bless you hallelujah hallelujah thank you for coming sir Let's get to the word. Lord, we give you praise. And we also want to celebrate as many people who have come to write for you and me. I think we should celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. Acts chapter 3. Blessed be the name of the Lord. On my way back home, I was just thinking all through the journey. Um, I was recounting on God's faithfulness. Please pay attention inside and outside. And um, I was just thinking through what the Lord had put in my heart to share with us tonight. Your dominion in life is a summation of your comprehension of the mysteries of the kingdom. I've said this again and again and I want us to please pay attention. Every gate can be opened if you have the key, not if you want it opened. Gates only open when you have the keys. Desire is not enough. To bring you to the place of destiny and breakthrough and so as we keep coming week after week I want you to realize that there is a transformation that is happening and that transformation is happening by the power of the Word of God 
the word of god not only gives you knowledge it translates you to become what he's saying and it empowers you to demonstrate the reality of what you claim to know any truth that you have and you know that cannot be demonstrated is not yet a revelation in your life hallelujah and so i want to challenge us that our passion in this place we must keep our passions high even as we seek to press to know him and to understand his ways i give you a guarantee the bible says they are life to them those who find them not everybody will find them they are not life to christians to those who find them and health to their flesh ah kenny it's good to see you hallelujah and so i want to share with us a few things that will challenge us because it's my desire that the list of us will be as great as David in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Knowledge is like an atmosphere. It commands possibilities in your life. It's not about trying. It's either it is there or it is not. Hallelujah. Are you blessed already? So make sure that you are learning constructively. The goal is not just to carry out a service. You know that we have no business with religion here. The goal is to empower you. Praise the Lord. Come promise. Look at this. Please bring your what you are holding. Come. Watch this everyone. What is he holding? What is he holding? You are holding a book. You are aware you are holding a book. If I try to convince you that you are not holding anything, will you agree? Is it an issue of prayer? You are, this is called reality. You are holding on to something that has become a conviction. Please listen to me. This is not something you are trying to believe. This is not something that is subject to debate or the opinions of men. See, the degree to which you're, you become stable in the kingdom. Um, your stability is proportionate to the depth of your conviction. Whenever you are not convinced about a reality, it's easy for you to drift. Either when it does not yet produce result. Or when there seem to be conflicting opinions. The apostle said, but I know whom I am believing. I wasn't just told about him i know he says and i am persuaded unshakable immovable that revelation has become a conviction for me and i stand upon it this is what god is doing with us bringing us to a point where we are convicted that you know that you are holding something you are holding something that you can take to the world and no devil, no culture, no system, no limitation, no gate can stop you. It's not just a prophecy. It's a resultant effect of paying attention. There are some things when you hold on to, you have entered your Sabbath. It's not if, it is when it will come. Is God speaking to us now? Thank you. Acts chapter 3. The Bible talks to us about... The activities of the early church please pay attention jesus had resurrected the bible tells us in acts chapter 1 how that he was with them for a period of 40 days teaching them on the matters of the kingdom he was helping them to be grounded in truth are we together and after the holy ghost had come in acts chapter 3 the bible says in the hour of prayer they were going to pray and then they saw a man he was begging for arms he had been there at gate beautiful and the bible says this time around when peter and john came peter looked at him and he made a very interesting statement in verse 6 chapter 3 of acts verse 6 and peter said silver and gold have i none he says but what 
such as I have. The question is, at what point did he know he had it? Because there was a time he did not have it. Is that true? At what point? What was the evidence that what happens to a man to know you've had something? Are you getting what I'm saying now? He said, such as I have, I give. I have something. And I'm not only, it's not just, I am aware of it. And it can be dispensed. I have it. I know that I have it. I understand the dynamics of his operation. And I can release it to you. He said, such as I have, I give. And he said, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk let's see what happened the next verse please watch what happened he says when he said that the man was still sitting he didn't stand up he was still sitting and the bible says his sitting was not going to sway peter for peter to say i'm not sure again peter said i know i have it whether you don't respond it doesn't change my persuasion such as I have, you don't know the activities that sponsor my conviction. Your refusing to act is too small to shake me. And he held his hands because he knew he had something. And he was insisting, I have something. And when I speak to you, there should be an effect. And if there is no effect, I insist. He says, such as I have, many of us seeing that man seated would have quietly moved away for the shame that is lack of conviction. You, you think you have something. Now a man stands before you and challenges your conviction. And at once you chicken out. But Peter said, no way. I know I have it. You are just meeting me. You don't know who else I have met. You don't know the, the, the revelations that support my audacity. I know I have something. And the man was just looking. Many people have told me to try standing up. And Peter said, you don't know me. And the Bible says he held his hands. He knew he had something. That revelation persuaded him enough. He stood before that challenge and would not be embarrassed because he knew it must work. Hmm. Is God speaking to us? He says, and he took him by the hand and what? And lifted him. And immediately his feet and ankle bones received strength to validate that he had something to give. Listen, Peter would have looked at him and said, Well, John, you too, you saw. I tried. We did exactly what Jesus said. Oh God, please don't be embarrassed. After all, we didn't collect money. And he would have gone back. That would not change the fact that he had something. But it was not released. Peter said, Such as I have. I'm not only aware, I understand that it is supposed to be dispensed. And I refuse to allow what I am seeing to influence my convictions. He says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Not confused. Persuaded. The problem with the church is lack of persuasion. The grounds upon which our audacity is standing upon is fragile. We don't take time to establish conviction upon kingdom realities. We're in a hurry to get Rema. We're in a hurry to get revelation. We're in a hurry to get knowledge. Let me tell you something. The world is ruled by men of conviction, dead or alive. You don't respect a man because you believe in him. You respect a man because of consistency of conviction. When a man becomes unbending, he, he commands your respect at once. That's why we cannot pretend that Boko Haram is a force to reckon with. They will be defeated, but their convictions are strong. Strong unto death. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now? The only reason, the only reason why faith is an issue in the church is because our convictions are small. hallelujah and so when we sit down like this as the word of god comes it gives us understanding it not only tells you what you have it explains to you the dynamics of it so that you get to a realm of persuasion where nothing can shake you say amen, amen. listen 
pay attention to what I'm saying because life will challenge it at any level. Ask any leader. Life will challenge your convictions from head to toe. And the gates will only open when you prove that you merit it opening. Not everything in the kingdom is a gift. There are things that are rewards. Rewards for consistency. Rewards for persuasion. Hallelujah. Are we together? When the Holy Spirit comes, please listen. When the Holy Spirit comes upon a believer at new birth, I want you to know that the coming of the Holy Spirit in every one believer that gives his life to Christ introduces the presence of God to that man's life. A presentation of the presence of the Father. The Bible tells us again and again. Is that true? So when the Holy Spirit comes, listen, comes to live in you, he represents the presence of God. And with him, Kabbalah Kataya, is a measure of God's ability at work in you. Everybody say God's ability. Say it one more time. God's ability. Say God's energy. Say God's capacity. When the Holy Spirit dwells in a man, his presence comes with a measure of God's ability at work in that man. Now, whether or not you know it, whether or not you use it is a different thing. But that is the truth because scripture cannot be broken. Are we together now? So when the Holy Spirit comes, he comes with a measure of God's ability. This is very interesting because the kingdom was designed never to function absolutely by the strength of man. Listen, the changes that humanity requires cannot be affected just by the, the strength of man. It cannot just be affected by intellect. It cannot just be affected by kindness and charity. It takes more than that. It takes an ability that is supernatural. It takes the ability of God to bring transformation, not just preaching. Do you know what it means to speak to a man and just by speaking, make that man change his ideologies? An ideology that he has hold or he's held true for decades and then in one meeting you speak and he's persuaded enough. It's called utterance, not oratory. Oratory is the ability to speak well. You learn that in school. Utterance is the capacity to communicate spiritual realities on the strength of God's ability such that the listener is able to enter into your experience. That is utterance. It's not oratory. What we have in church is oratory, but we need utterance. It's a gate that gives you access to the ability of the spirit to persuade men such that they subscribe to the value system of the kingdom. Are we together? So the ability of the Holy Spirit that brings it that divine life. Many Christians jump and about having the divine life, but we do not see the evidence of that divine life. That divine life that dwells within you and it comes with a measure of the ability of the spirit if you do not recognize that there is an ability of the spirit that is at work in you you will rob yourself of the capacity to function like God God gave us his ability so that we can produce his result listen listen only God's kind of result can bring change and impact in our world only God's kind of result can bring blessings. Only God's kind of result can bring lifting. Only God's kind of result can bring transformation. If you're with me, say amen. God's ability. That's what we call power. That's what we call the anointing. The anointing is not oil. The anointing is God's energy. His very ability. We define power in physics as what? Work done per unit time. Energy expended. That's exactly the definition of the ability of God. His capacity. When God wants to do anything, He depends on His ability. And so when He sends you as His ambassador, He gives you His ability. 
God's ability. Say it again, God's ability. One definition of frustration is to try to achieve God's kind of result with your ability. You will see how crippled you look in life. Say after me, I have the ability of God. How many people have gone to seek people out of zeal and kindness? You are sick, Sam. In the name of Jesus, be healed. By their ability, they want to seek God's result. But they are conscious of their ability. No. It is not given to man. Please hear me. It is not given to man to produce God's result with his ability. How many pastors and churches are frustrated because they are trying to get growth they are trying to get this and, and all kinds of teachings it takes the ability of God shout it God's ability listen listen I'm telling you this don't just allow the scientific world fool you the realm of the spirit controls the physical realm it was James the apostle that told us for as the body without the spirit there must be a spirit component to everything for it to work I don't care what it is if there is no spirit component it is there there must be a spirit component to business there must be a spirit component to your academics there must be a spirit component to marriage I love you I love you is not enough there must be a spirit component there must be a spirit component to anything that we do the problem is many times we ignore the spiritual side because we think it is not necessary oh my goodness oh my goodness how helpless a man is brothers and sisters how helpless in the face of this cruel life there are gates on every mountain there are giants on every mountain it doesn't take stories to move them it takes the ability There are devils standing on the gates of your finances. It takes the ability of God. Why do we need the ability of God? It's his power to effect changes. Listen. Change can never occur until the power of God is present in a place. Any kind of change. The ability to effect change from healings to miracles to soul winning to transformation it is entirely dependent on the ability of god there are so many people who try to do evangelism sincerely from their heart but there is no ability how many times have we stood in the face of situations that honestly demand the touch of god but we know that we are short of God's ability. God gave you his ability so that you can truly produce change. The Bible says in John chapter 15, it says, Herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit. So then shall he be my disciples. God wants us to bear fruit, but it takes an ability. An ability higher and greater than yourself. Are you getting what I'm saying now? The second reason why we need the ability of God is to be able to produce supernatural results. Please write it down. Supernatural results. If your results are natural, the world does not have space for you. The 21st century does not have space for natural results. The minimum standard in our world today is a supernatural. It takes an ability of God for a mortal man to produce results out of proportion hmm. the bible says they were astonished when they saw jesus christ and they saw the kinds of results that he was producing let me tell you something don't ever allow anybody preach you into thinking results do not matter in the school of greatness only god sees the heart men can only see the outward appearance please are you hearing what i'm saying don't ever let anyone fool you it's god that can see the heart you can die with your good intentions if you want to influence men you must let your light shine 
not let your light glow it must shine for men to see not angels god wants them to see it it is in the seeing that they become persuaded therefore permit your light to so shine before men that they may see your good works and as a result glorify your father john 17 verse 1 jesus was speaking he said now the hour has come he was speaking to the lord he said glorify now thy son to the end that thy son will bring you glory so the only way god is glorified is when we are glorified our glorification is a means to an end not an end in itself it gives god the opportunity because no man can praise himself you need another to praise you it's against the law of greatness for you to praise yourself when you praise yourself it's called arrogance when another man praises you it's called honor hallelujah so we need the ability of god to produce changes there are people here who are sick it doesn't take stories we can shout and jump around and just make a lot of noise when they tell your dad in the office or your mom we are going to fire you brothers and sisters it takes the ability of the spirit to change it when the landlord tells you tomorrow if you cannot bring your money you are out it takes what the ability of god the problem is this we have ignored the ability of god in the church we believe in god but we have ignored his ability that anointing that agency of the spirit that empowers men to produce change and to produce result this ministry by the grace of god is a testimony of god's ability the ability of god walking through men And I want that to become your testimony from tonight. That tonight you will give up on just trying to get things happen by your strength. When you depend on God's ability, you will see results that are out of proportion. Praise the Lord. Tonight is a very simple teaching. Until the ability that is within a believer is released, he can never be a blessing. To his generation i want you to know this until the ability that is resident within a believer is released not acquired not gotten your being anointed does not make any meaning to your generation until that anointing is released the release of that ability is what brings about blessings the bible says no man lights a lamp and puts it under a bush no man does that but you the purpose of lighting it is so that it can give illumination and direction so until the ability or the anointing is released the believer can never be a blessing you only become a blessing when you allow the measure of God's ability in you to find expression in your physical world the Bible says, and the word became flesh and did what? It now dwelt among men and they beheld the glory. They could never behold the glory for as long as it was in the realm of the spirit. But when it became flesh, Shadrach, it's good to see you. I'm happy seeing my people. Praise the Lord. The word became flesh. The anointing that God has given you, when it translates into wisdom that men can relate with, when it translates into creativity that men can relate with. When it translates into dunamis, power, the capacity to produce change here and now, then Christ is glorified. Otherwise, we'll keep talking a lot of stories. That which is resident within you must find expression for Christ to be glorified. Are we together now? Now, the problem with many of us seated here is not that we are not anointed. It's not that the hand of God is not upon our lives, but that inability to understand the dynamics of expressing the ability of God is what has crippled us. And so we stand before mountains we can walk over, and yet we cry before them. The reason is because we have not come to a point where we realize that the ability of God is at work in us. Moses, listen, Moses stood before the Red Sea. God did not add anything to him. 
right there there was the ability to cross over but he was afraid when he went back god just said why are you coming to me i gave you a rod the word is in your mouth tell the people to move forward he went back and did what he would have done in the first place do you know that many times when you go to god most of the things you get from him is comfort because actually you have the ability to do what you do but just because our psychology is built around just hearing something from god and so god said it is well now go and then you get up and go you would have done that right away are you getting what i'm saying now your going and that reception of comfort was just to encourage you but all the while the ability was within you when he appeared to gideon in the book of judges chapter 6 when he looked at him what did he call him oh thou mighty man of failure but gideon was hiding there was no special impartation service he just said gideon what is going on ah, gideon said god you too you know what is going is happening and he began to tell him how that he was going to go and defeat the midianites there is an ability within you i'll never forget the first time god told me this thing listen it's not enough to know god is mighty this was a song that gave me that revelation you know this song lord you reign forever lord you reign forever i worship you yes ago i was singing this song i worship you this was the part that changed me you reign you reign you reign you reign that's you talking to the lord and i had it very clearly like a man singing back to me this was what i had you reign cause i reign you reign cause i reign you reign this is what god is telling me back he's responding to my worship and saying son it's not enough to know i reign there's no confusion about that the trouble is here on earth so reign because i reign now that you are aware i've told you you are like me i expect a legislation that is consistent with what is happening in heaven that way the kingdom comes it's not enough to say lord i know you are reigning what is happening to us here we are dying keep reigning let's keep dying no no it says thy kingdom come thy will be done where in the earth not in heaven there is no confusion about order in heaven the confusion is here so he says rain and it gave me an understanding not just this thing people jump around i'm a king i'm a king and go and die like a fool you jump based on knowledge and revelation see you can have something and you can take it anywhere believe me i know what i'm saying a man can have something and you can hold on to it and run with it that's what god is speaking to us he reigns so you reign he reigns so you reign so he expects you to legislate listen listen a man called saint patrick have you heard about saint patrick a man called saint patrick the son of the king had died for six months how many months six months they had buried him and he was he was bringing a lot of catastrophe and that man called saint patrick walked straight to the grave and signed his name on it saint patrick and they opened it and dug out a human being alive it's in history men who knew they had something not independent of god listen with god all things are possible i've demonstrated it for you here come promise can i use you again with promise all things are possible without him some things are no longer possible but with him the word with god here means in partnership in partnership that's why we call it koinonia in partnership there is an ability you and god constitute an unbeatable team have you watched wrestling how they can beat somebody as if they are passing him through a meat machine and then on the other side his colleague is there bouncing and saying touch me show that you 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 are weak but we are a tag team is that true if you win we share the money together if you lose we lose together it's a partnership 
and so the holy ghost is standing and telling you look look you have been going around this mountain why don't you come into partnership with me there is an ability within you listen listen there is an ability it's called energes the greek word is energes it says now unto him philippians 3 uh, 20 unto him who is able he has an ability to do exceedingly abundantly far above all we ask or think not according to his might according to the power that works not in heaven in you in you the possibilities in your life are dependent on activating the anointing and the ability of the spirit within you and so like the wrestling someone lifts his hands and have you seen the way people touch the other i mean they almost have no strength and they touch somebody else and he jumps in and plays nonsense with the one who has been beating his colleague and wins and then he holds the guy who is a team together and they lift the belt together he doesn't leave the belt and say you when you are tired stand up and walk home he lifts him and says we won listen i'm bringing you into a revelation that your victory starts from the standpoint a consciousness that with you and the holy ghost never do anything outside of the holy ghost you will fail it's not a prophecy it was designed to happen that way master we have toiled all night but in partnership with your word let's go back and watch a miracle are you hearing what i'm saying now prophet elijah outside of the holy spirit he could not say anything he said look guys you want prophecy from me i can't move my human ability cannot do anything but play me a mistrial and the moment they began to play when the holy ghost came upon him he said now i have something to say fill these ditches with water you may not see wind you may not see rain yet the valley shall be filled with water listen that is not yet possible in your life does not mean it is not possible it's amazing how a challenge can be killing you and somebody will come and pass it as if it does not exist there is an ability that sponsors that audacity and i want you to know that if you are in christ that ability is within you there is an ability i walk conscious of this every time i go to minister i walk conscious of this and the lord walking with them and the Holy Spirit walking, not just in Joshua Selman, but with Joshua Selman. There is a partnership, it's a koinonia. We are inseparable. It's like the, a salt covenant. Where I am foolish, I trust his wisdom. Where I am confused, there is strength. When I stand before a sick body, I know, I am very aware, I'm intelligent enough to know that you cannot squeeze out cancer from somebody and it disappears at once i'm smart enough to know that that cancer is matter it has weight it can occupy space but then when his ability comes when his ability comes that's when the difference see listen don't trivialize what i'm sharing with you this is your recipe this is your key to unstoppable unstoppable exploits in the kingdom the ability of the spirit thank you let's take a few things i want us to pray let's take down a few things you must allow the measure of god's anointing within you to find expression and produce testimonies in the lives of people just two or three things i'll say again and then we'll pray God's ability in a man can grow and it can increase. The ability of God that is resident within a man can grow. Every living thing grows. God's ability is alive and so it can grow. That you have received a measure of that ability. Listen, listen. The ability of the spirit in a man is like currency. Let me explain to you something. Please look up. Please look up. Who has money? Somebody give me money. 1,500. Thank you. Watch this. If this is 200 naira 
How many things can 200 naira buy? 200 naira can buy a bottle of minerals. Is that true? Can it buy wine? But is it money? At least he can buy some things. Are you getting what I'm saying? Now let me explain to you something about God's ability. God's ability in you can only solve problems that are within the range of the dimension of that ability. Anything higher than that measure, watch this, that measure cannot be solved although you have the ability. Listen, listen, listen. I want you to get this. The ability of the spirit, the anointing of the spirit at work in people is in levels. And there are possibilities that are activated within that level and that measure. Are you getting what I'm saying? When the measure of God's ability is at work in you, every problem, every giant, every mountain that is within that range of power will be solved. But everything higher than it will remain an obstacle. Get this revelation and you will see the reason why although you are anointed, some things have not changed. Praise the Lord. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Thank you. Just like this currency, watch this. This is 200 naira. It can buy wine. Mama put, you can eat something with this now. Yam and, and akarankose. Watch this. I can eat akarankose at Mama put with this. Comfortably. With dignity. Can this take you to a five-star hotel, the restaurant? But is this money? So what do you need to do if you want to go to a five-star hotel? Increase the same thing not a different thing increase a measure of the very same thing are you getting what i'm saying listen that you have a measure does not mean the challenges in life respond to measures of the anointing measures of graces don't let any man fool you that the moment you have an ability it can solve every problem it's not true those who talk those things have not worked in the anointing believe me i know what i'm saying this is what i work in every day it's like a range when you upgrade on the level of the anointing that's why the bible says he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my feet but i got to a level where that would not be enough again then he had to measure a thousand cubits and the river increased and it was to my knees are we together now and then he measured a thousand cubits and it was to my loins then he measured a thousand cubits and it was an overflowing river and he said everywhere that river went whatever was dead came alive there are different levels of the anointing the ability of the spirit so a mountain can jump and leave and you go to another mountain and you can be shouting everything you know and the mountain steers you there are sick bodies that we may struggle around with in many crusades in nigeria and those sick bodies can be there let benihin step in just two songs of worship i guarantee you not he has not even if he's talking about relationship it doesn't matter he can even teach on how to be a nice housewife and while he is teaching see the anointing does not care what is happening it whenever it sees a need and a demand for it it flows there immediately are you getting what i'm saying now so god's ability in you responding to a situation you can have a challenging issue that looks like a mountain and someone comes with the ability of god and brings a dimension of wisdom you never thought of and dissolves that thing in one minute and it's over case closed the ability of the spirit that was what happened to daniel they were about to slaughter them and kill them and he said ah, ah why is the king hasty in this all these people have tried their ability he said please just give us time and the bible says in the night the secret was revealed to daniel and he got up in the morning and answered the king same thing happened to joseph see how men took their generations by the ability of the spirit joseph did not become a prime minister because of interpretation of dreams Joseph became a prime minister because he offered a very serious supernatural solution to the problem. If he had interpreted dreams, they would have said, okay, we have had you, please, um, water, go and lock him up. And he would have just gone back. Highest, they would have given him a day off and he's back to the prison. But he was smart enough, in addition to the dream, he said, I know the answer. This is what we should do. 
and when he said that look at him i love joseph he said oh king find a man he knew there was no man find a man check around don't trivialize my grace find a man if you can find another man with it no problem and the king said is he not here we kept quarreling asking people to come and interpret the dreams where can we find such a man that's why we worship the lord truly because there is nobody like him are you getting what i'm saying that's the reason why we worship him we love him searched all over couldn't find nobody i looked high and low still couldn't find nobody nobody prayed nobody prayed no nobody prayed than you listen there is something the spirit of god will do to you that this song will become for you not not just for god i want you to always be conscious of I, God can give you a territory my brothers and my sisters I want you to listen to me God can put something upon your life that will make let me not go ahead of myself thank you sir thank you sir that you come to a point where there is something in you without any show of pride you know it's not cheap and you know it's not what you find by the roadside listen when you explore the ability of god in you from border to border you will enter your sabbath experientially i guarantee you the bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of god hebrews chapter 4 right and it says let us therefore labor the word labor there is content even as unto death to enter that rest for he that has entered that rest has ceased from his works there are two ways the ability of god in you can grow number one is by revelation 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 grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge grace and peace be multiplied through knowledge through knowledge the word knowledge there's the word translated epignosis a comprehension of truth that makes the person who is knowing it and what is known become one not just awareness is actually the word that is interpreted intercourse so grace and peace is multiplied through knowledge hallelujah revelation when light comes to you then you will arise the bible says they that sat in darkness they have seen a great light great light arise and shine isaiah 60 it says for your light is come not your light is around the light has come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you it says is one revelation God gave me watch this please if you are if you're a minister of the gospel here let me share with you a secret please look up money does not make a great ministry are you hearing what I'm saying don't let any man fool you money does not make a great ministry it is impact that makes a great ministry and supplies finances financing ministry is a product of impact are you getting what I'm saying now impact and this is how it happens when your light starts shining gentiles will come unbelievers drug addicts all kinds of people will come kings will never come to your light when you become consistent and you keep growing it will start attracting brightness and excellence is a language there are those who know how to speak it the moment you start speaking their language they will come it says Gentiles shall come to your light. There is a level of ministry where all you see are Gentiles. People who are coming to be saved, those coming to be sick, somebody dragging his trolley of problems and coming to dump it and then you have to work on it. But the time will come as your light begins to become bright. 
like the day kings will start coming kings don't come to your light they come to the brightness the brightness of your rising and when they come like queen sheba they will not come empty-handed they will come with their bounties they will come with their blessings the wise men from the east when they saw jesus christ they came with gold they came with frankincense they came with man they came to honor him every time there is brightness it begins to draw certain kinds of people so there are many men of god who are trying to look for money they are trying to look for money because they think money makes an impactful ministry what an error it doesn't work that way money is only a reward money is a receipt for doing something right we've learned it here when you get money as a man of god it's a receipt just like you buy something the receipt means you have paid for it not you will pay for it the receipt is an evidence that something has been done not is being done not will be done but the problem is we trivialize the ability of the spirit in us how many of us have looked like gideon and felt that there is nothing within us oh there is that great man of god there there is that great woman of god there and we forget mary was there standing and an angel appears to her and says blessed are you women among this and that and that and then he told her that she was going to carry a child and she said how shall these things be in other words naturally this should not happen seeing that i know not a man and the angel said something which is key for us this night it says the power of the highest that's how it happens the power of the highest shall overshadow you how can i be the last born in my family and yet i'm the one god will use to wipe the tears of people he says the power of the highest there is an ability of the spirit that can come upon you the second key to growing in the anointing and in god's ability is impartation 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 is a transference of spiritual virtues transference of spirits transference of possibilities a man who is a possessor of a dimension of possibility can share it like you use a candle to light another it is a possibility in the spirit that's the character of the dimension of god's ability called dunamis it's an ability that is capable of being reproduced listen i've said it again and again a true leader does not maintain followers a true leader reproduces himself and turns followers into leaders if joshua selman remains a superstar and an anointed man everybody keeps clapping i have failed from the world's perspective and from the perspective of mediocres we keep clapping but let me tell you something god's dimension of measure or his index of measuring success is not just by the crowd we have inside and outside it is the individuals becoming a replica of his grace and anointing and his ability god measures success one by one he doesn't measure success by a crowd thank god for all of that it's an evidence of the hand of god but if we are to sample 10 people at random and engage you with spiritual challenges and see how you are able to navigate through the dynamics of the operation of the spirit it is a true measure of the success of this ministry the ability to be empowered and carry that conviction and go and begin to produce results around your sphere of influence and i insist that it must happen to you in the name of jesus christ so impartation and revelation write this down very quickly the channels for releasing the ability of god the ability of god must be released please burn this into your mind i'm being very simple tonight because i want us to have this basic understanding before we pray the anointing the ability of the spirit must be released for people to be blessed by it it must be released it's not just the obtaining of the ability of god but the dispensing 
the release of it that's what brings blessings to people God's ability God's ability is working in me is working in me God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me it's God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me sing it with me God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me and so when a mountain stands before you and you carry this ability you will move with audacity humanly speaking you should chicken out come on but i love david david stands with a sling conscious of an ability that is bigger than him and goliath said am i a dog i know i'll kill you but at least respect me come with knife as if you are fighting a man and david said i will not i would disgrace you let me even tell you how i will kill you this is what will happen this sling will hit you and i will remove your head it's god's ability when you see men do supernatural things brothers and sisters i want you to know it's god's ability what you see happening tonight is god's ability the energy the very strength of God manifested as wisdom manifested as power manifested as faith manifested the, the ability of God is what we call grace whether grace to become or grace to do is all called grace and it's God's ability that's what makes men champions that's what makes men wonderful people is the ability of God the ability of God is like a programming it's like a software when it enters you you are infected there's nothing you can do about it the moment you carry it your environment begins to respond that's the treasure that we have in earthen vessels it's not about the vessel but the treasure and God designed it the only way you benefit from the treasure is to carry the vessel along that's the reason why when a man is anointed you don't bring out the anointing and keep him you carry the man too as you honor the anointing you honor him when you bless the anointing anointing cannot eat is the vessel that eats it as his benefit for paying attention it's working in me look at the bible full of people who took advantage of this divine ability If you get this one thing I'm teaching you, you will change your life in a remarkable way. Hallelujah. Play this mic. Aaron sent me a text before I came here, Pastor. And um, he sent me a text and said, Man of God, I want you to explain to me what exactly happened in Port Harcourt. And then I looked and he said I was going to talk with him. I shared my Port Harcourt story. I shared it here, right? Pastor, he came from Port Harcourt. It's a land of greatness and a land of plenty. Listen. I was going to Port Harcourt and all I had, watch this. Although God has corrected me recently because I've been running my mouth saying things. I've grown now. God has corrected me recently. In one of my retreats, I've been corrected. So I will update my curriculum. Because I keep saying all I had was my bag. That bag was a seed. I know the kind of faith that brought that bag. That bag was a seed. I remember dragging that bag and the ministry was about this size then. Everybody. And they were all escorting me. As if they were going for a funeral. And that was how we went to the park. That park, in, um, that park on your way to Kaduna. Just this one. Yes. That Kwangila Park. And they dropped me there and I was laughing. They were pity because they knew aside from my bus fare, all I had left 
home and abroad in terms of monetary value was 800 naira and i was going to a land i had never gone to but i did not like the woman in second kings chapter 4 i forgot that i had an ability i kept looking at my rickety bag and all of this listen i dropped at number 23 query street around to two in the afternoon when i dropped there i knew i was stupid for sure because no right thinking human being would do what i had done and i stopped there 800 naira and i knew it would be foolish for me to try to look for a hotel to stay so the closest thing was at least to finish up the 800 naira and eat something with it so i went to one my mother was sharing something and watch this one thing i knew was that i was going to reign in that land i didn't know how to describe it but i knew there was an ability sometimes you need to come to the end of your road to now find out what you have been calling spare part whereas that is all you need second kings chapter 4 the woman lost everything the husband used the children as collateral when everything had gone the prophet said what do you have in your house he said nothing except and he said you call it except the vessel is only the oil is small because of the vessel that took it not because it is small once you expand capacity the oil will increase with it he said the oil is much it's only because the oil was housed in a small vessel borrow vessel enlarge your capacity and when that woman did that she became rich with it so i went there i'll never forget when i was eating the holy spirit just sent a signal to my spirit and i found out one of my friends that used to live there and i called him and i told him i'm here this and that and that can i come and stay for a while and then i came i went to the house and i stayed there listen my money had finished let me tell you what happened i was broke there was i mean things were bad then his sister was sick when his sister was sick i wasn't happy that she was sick don't misunderstand me but at least i was comforted that something <laughs> listen undertakers are not happy that people die but at least it is the make <laughs> are you getting what i'm saying now and so when she said she was sick i prayed for her when she was healed she came with a seed of 1000 naira listen that 1000 naira was what i used to buy my suit to do my first ministration the suit was not what you sell around the suit was this kind you see this kind that they move around with it you just call the man listen let me tell you a secret it's better than many things they hang around nobody will know it's only you that will know ah. oh yes are we together now i remember my friend in abuja calling one pastor in portacourt and say a mighty man of god is in town and he said all kinds of things about me and the man said and then it happened to be that the man was from my state watch this <sighs> no 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 play that thing i'm going to sing this song a lot this song we started that's our special number for this night that god's ability song listen god is my witness when i took a bike to go and see the pastor he hosted us and another person we ate in his house and then he went to go and introduce me to the church as soon as i stepped into the building my eyes were open and i gave the pastor three prophecies three prophecies in the church are you with me three days after the prophecy the first one happened 0.5 million came into the church the overseer said call that man he's coming to preach on sunday ah, there is an ability oh it can open doors when all else fail makata labada yes many things in life can fail don't trust them the real capital in your life is the anointing that one is fail proof certificate can fail internet can fail brother when all else fails reach out deep down god's ability God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. Listen, I went to the church 
I bought the suit with the money. I can't remember how much. Dress looks smart, you will never know. Because I, I refused to. I knew that my present was a thing I just had to manage with. In my mind, I was light years ahead of my present. So I wasn't embarrassed by it. Because I knew my physical reality will necessarily, necessarily become my mindset and my perspective. When I went there on that Sunday morning, it was a Sunday morning. I was on my way to come and they sent me the message to preach. They said I should preach about vow. I said I fasted for three days for this opportunity. And you are now sending me the message. God had already given me a word. Listen, the man with the church was a prophet. He doesn't come out until after the service. When you finish preaching, he will now come out and do his thing. When I stepped in and I looked at the people, I had never seen a congregation of people who were that demonized. And... Um, there was, you know, we are used to, we write our songs in Zaria, right? So it's very difficult to sing these songs outside because we write our songs. We receive them, we compose them. And I didn't know the kind of song to raise because uh, I wasn't used to all those songs. Our songs, you can be humming for 30 minutes. You don't do that there. There was one song that I remember. Now is the time for the new anointing. Gird up your loins and be ready. Every yoke of bondage surely must be broken. That was a song I raised. My goodness, that meeting, that meeting was something else. It was, it was, it was an amazing meeting. You can imagine the things that God did. After that meeting, I had honorarium. I ate in the house of the pastor. They took me to another place. You know how they are. They are not like the not here that ignore your grace till you die. <laughs> right there, once they see grace, they celebrate it immediately. It's not in the not that they will just look and say, can you help me? No. They know how to... Am I lying, pastor? Come on now. They celebrate grace very generously. And so we went there. And from that meeting, they said two weeks after the church was going to have a convention and I was going to be their major speaker. Listen from that time it was one meeting after one meeting after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter after one encounter and within six months my life had changed changed in a way I didn't even know where I was coming from again it had so changed the road had deleted behind me never to return there again that's why I never forget his ability. When all else fail, today I've stood before kings, I've stood before politicians. None of my certificates have brought me before these people, but an ability of the spirit. Are you hearing what I'm saying? So don't ignore it. Especially for some of you who are in school. Read your book, but don't fool yourself. The world we live in needs an ability of the spirit. Needs an ability of the spirit. Let's finish up. Mm. The primary channel for releasing God's ability is your words. 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 Where the word of a king is, there is power. Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2. And the spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me. The spirit entered me when he spake unto me. An impartation a dispensing of that anointing he said and it set me upon my feet listen there are people sitting now hearing me you will stand up from this meeting and it's like something will suddenly rise within you and you will say I know I may not be any other thing but I'm anointed I may not be any other thing I was teaching the school of ministry students and I taught them no matter what society says you are not they may be right but they are wrong when they say you are not anointed hmm. they may be right they may say you are not fine it may be true they may say you are from a background where the map of your village was not added when they were you don't even use gps to find it they are right but if they ignore the anointing they are wrong 
the anointing will make nations follow you on their knees and it will be a privilege for them to receive of your grace you will be standing surprised while they are saying thank you God's ability is released through words number three your hands listen please look up I know that many of us have ignored our hands I want everybody to look at your hands if you can these hands it's working in you God's ability God's ability is working in you is working in you listen these hands you see brothers and sisters a hand is a mystery in the realm of the spirit a hand is not what holds people that's why the Bible talks about the right hand of God it talks about the hand of God the hands are also doors in the spirit they are channels for releasing the anointing the work of a man is done through his hands when you realize that there is an ability on your hands it will bring upon your life creativity it will bring upon your life innovations you will do things through your hands you will never believe possible these hands these hands can open the gates of nations to you these hands can bring kingdoms to their knees these hands can swing the tulip gates of your destiny open God's ability God's ability is working in me it's working in me brothers and sisters you are getting blessed right now because I am speaking you are not hearing English some of you you don't even know what is happening to you as you are listening to me you don't know whether you should sit down whether you should stand up because there is an ability my mouth is a window it's a window revealing the realm of the spirit it's a window communicating the secret place something is happening to your spirit as you are receiving this is not a lecture this is not a lecture it's an ability the power of the Holy Ghost it's working in you <laughs> he's working in you it's God's ability God's ability it's working in you it's working in you and so as you speak the opening of your mouth is like the opening of the portals in the spirit and you begin to speak as you communicate those realities you are changing people they don't even know what is happening to them they just know that there is an activity it's not english it's not oratory it's called utterance 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 is by the ability of the spirit it's not a lecture you are changing men you are using words to bring them into an experience they cannot explain the ability of god walking in a man and so the spirit enters you the words come with fire the words come with illumination they do something to your spirit man it's like light some of you sometimes you don't even know what you are receiving you can't tell what is happening to you it's like hammer it's like fire you can't tell it's an ability it comes help that many please it comes from heaven an ability of the spirit God's ability be sensitive I sense the anointing of the Holy Spirit already moving we're going to pray it's working in me that's what I want you to become so anointed so full of his ability the Bible says even God who quickened the dead and uses his mouth to call things he uses his mouth to make things happen that would not have happened the prophet said by this time he was not revealing he was creating it wouldn't have happened his words created it he's working in me listen many of us have been speaking it's time for us to be communicators of light and power 
it's time for us to be communicators of divine reality i see the angels of the lord pouring what looks like oil on people this is what i see it's like an anointing coming on people strong anointing of the holy ghost god's ability it's an ability it's an ability of the holy ghost that the opening of your mouth is a gate in the spirit working in me working in me god's ability is God's ability It's working in me It's working in me Shake a tabala God's ability It's God's ability It's working in me It's working in me Sing it with me everybody God's ability God's ability is working in me. Shaba baba la kata baba la baba. It's God's ability. It's God's ability. It's working in me. Listen. Listen. The third way the ability of God is dispensed is through the instrument of your atmosphere. Hmm. Listen, when you carry the ability of God, that ability creates like a spiritual electromagnetic field around you. Anybody that comes within that atmosphere, possibilities just like many of you are under this atmosphere right now and then sicknesses will leave just by themselves without any prayer there is an ability of the spirit when Saul came into an atmosphere where there was a principality called Samuel the atmosphere affected him and the spirit of prophecy fell upon him when the ability of God is at work in you, your atmosphere has prophetic implications. Your atmosphere has prophetic implications. It's working in me. Yeah. Hallelujah. God's ability is released by faith you release the ability of God by faith let me explain to you what I mean the ability of the spirit listen is released on the strength of conviction your persuasion about who God is and what he has put in you sponsors your audacity to take action Action based on that consciousness is called faith we've taught a lot of dogma about faith faith is nothing based on just human asset faith is the name given to the action you take based on your persuasion of who God is and then the Bible says and the Lord walking with them confirming the word listen the anointing of the spirit is the principal capital in your life please hear me action that is based on your conviction as action that is based on expectation by the ability of the spirit so your hands you expect that people will receive impartations this is how it works brothers and sisters there is an ability in you there is an ability in you you must know this there is an ability in you it's, it's not it's not about some gimmicks please this is not even about falling down 
is called the mystery of godliness where God can dwell in a man so your body is like a puppet they are seeing you but there is another agency at work it's called the ability of God that's what will make you a wonder men will keep looking when they think they have exhausted you then you come from another dimension because you are connected to a supply that is eternal not bounded with time no fatigue is not bounded to the limitations of this system it's the ability of God the ability of God reproduce again and again and again and again it's not about trial and error you can gain mastery in the dispensing of his ability yes yes strong meat belongs to those who are of full age who by reason of use they have gained mastery it's like fighting God's ability it's God's ability He's working in me That's why we can tell you to come for this meeting And we can guarantee That you will be blessed Yes, we can guarantee Not on the strength of the flesh There is an ability No man's hardness can stand it No matter how stubborn you are It doesn't make any difference Because when he shows up The Bible says the voice of God Upon the waters is mighty listen this is what happens in the teachings there are many people here who have come from other places and they cannot explain what happens to them when they listen to these teachings it's not so much about the revelation there is an ability in it that compels compliance it's called anakazo it's a greek word it's the compelling power of the spirit It is with that ability that we can prophesy over your life and your job and it will change listen it's not just saying change change receive all those things are cabbages what is the ability that sponsors it for i am a man under authority he says and on the strength of that authority i tell one go and he will go i tell one come and he will come how can cancer die god's ability how can a jobless person get a job before Monday? God's ability. How can a, a, a life, I mean, come on, think about it, people. It's the ability of the spirit. It's not by might. It's not by power. There is an ability bigger than your effort, bigger than your strength. God's ability, help them please. God's ability is working in me. It's working in me. There are three rewards when you can press to manifest the ability of God. There are three rewards. Reward number one is to become a desirable personality nations will desire you because you carry that which is needed they may criticize you but they will desire you there is too much darkness in this world for the careers of the anointing to be ignored it has nothing to do with ministry that's the key to being an ambassador the nations will look for you when you carry this capital called the anointing it will open gates you will become Beulah you will become Hevziba the delight some land you will become greatly desired when you carry this anointing listen I have met men and women that no level of qualification in life would have given me access to them at this level and I am amazed I am amazed I travel all the time and I am humbled people love me from regions to regions it's not just that they love Joshua Selman many of them don't even know me there is something 
when you carry it you become a joy of nations when you carry that anointing you become desirable the anointing will make up for your weaknesses it will make up big time listen listen years ago there was somebody who wanted to go to nda and there is a height there is a level to which if you are not as tall as that height they will not take you and the person who wanted to go there was lower than that height and when he went they dismissed him and he went and met the emir of zaria and the emir of zaria sent him with delegates that they should go and tell the commandant and the people that the emir has added his height did you hear what i said that the emir has added his height and they took him that's what the anointing does where you cannot enter others are entering because they are intelligent others are entering because they have connection when they come they ask you what do you have and then you say god's ability god's ability is working in me is working god's ability god's ability is working in me Listen, they may they can't ignore you for too long it won't be too long somebody will be confused you will be needed immediately it won't be too long somebody will be sick demons are still on earth which guarantees that you remain valuable listen listen for as long as there is a demand for your anointing you remain valuable business tells us until you have something you are unnecessary the anointing keeps you valuable forever stocks can rise and fall oil can rise and fall but the anointing has equal value in every territory God's ability listen when you carry naira when you carry naira as soon as you get to london with naira naira is no longer valuable is that true you have to change it to another currency when you travel to israel you have to change the pounds or euro to shekels to be able to use it when you travel to asia you now have to change it to yen and the rest to use it but the anointing the way it works in nigeria when you get to uk there is no translation there is no downgrading same sickness same demons same challenges listen rich men fall sick rich men get confused politicians get confused have you seen certain businesses that are only for certain people you only sell pampas for children abi and an adult who is sick an old man a young man doesn't need pampas are you getting what i'm saying you you only bab somebody like me who always wants his hair low if you want to shine it let it shine this is the way you do it but somebody who keeps his hair doesn't need it there are certain things in life that are only for a group of people the anointing is a master capital it is relevant anywhere everywhere and at all times you need it in business you need it in your academics you need it in marriage pursue me students you need it in your pursue me no 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 it's not just by the y the x there is an ability let me tell you early enough there is an ability of the spirit because you can write an exam well and somebody can be marking your exam and your script will fall down there is an anointing that guarantees it remains there are you hearing what I'm saying? Number one, it brings you, it makes you greatly desired. Number two, the ability of God gives you favor with men. Ah. Please listen to my message, Activating Seasons of Greatness. Favor with men. And it does that in three dimensions. 
it gives you access to people access to resources and access to opportunities these are the three things any man needs to succeed access to people access to resources access to opportunities the anointing brings access not everything is solved by money access is greater than money access 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 hallelujah it's God's ability listen we went Benin we went Benin recently for a meeting I say these things to encourage you after the meeting some people came in from Asaba and they shared a very touching testimony and um, the pastors came in great ministry doing great things for God there when they came in they said this that they believe it to be an angel but they said somebody at a point where the ministry really needed the hand of God somebody just entered with one of our teachings and gave them and left never to see him again never knew him it was just somebody who came and dropped it and left and the pastor said when they listened to it they got all the information and as at the time they were talking to me they said they had over 200 of the messages and it has revolutionized the people there are people today who know me and love this ministry i have never seen them in fact 75 percent of those who get blessed by this ministry we have never set our eyes some of them is just one message is a mystery is a mystery if you think it's ordinary try it just go online and put anything i don't care what just put anything and invite people there is an angel there is an angel of the lord's presence that signifies the word of god and sends it like an envoy hallelujah during my during my birthday i think we had compliments from over 16 nations 16 nations of the world that have been blessed by the ministry i've not gone to most of them see that but then it's coming there are people who take these messages by themselves and keep spreading that's their ministry that is like a covenant they signed with god brothers and sisters tonight i want you to give up on your strength outside of god i'm reducing your journey towards destiny you will waste your time for nothing and find out after 70 years that this is not how it works but when the ability of God is upon you, it will make you a sign and a wonder. You will have unusual access. Access to things you will not pay for. The anointing will pay for things for you. Unusual access. Hallelujah. And finally, the third reward for the ability of the Spirit working in you is ever increasing honor honor let me tell you what honor is listen honor is not just recognition honor is the discernment of your uniqueness and the ability to reward it if you are not rewarded for your uniqueness it's not honor you can be recognized but when a man recognizes you and is willing to invest in you that is honor to honor is to esteem you with respect and dignity and that you'll be rewarded for your blessings almost every day of my life there are people blessing me sowing seeds doing all kinds of things I sat down this morning and I was talking to the Lord I said Lord what are you doing to me this is more than I have bargained for. As soon as we arrived this evening, I just came in and when I came out, I was almost, sometimes you see me come and sit down and I just put my head down. I'm fighting tears many times because I remain humbled at the hand of God. The kind of workers that God has given in this ministry, I think they, they are even, it looks like they believe in the ministry more than me. Tomorrow is a leader's retreat and Sunday is the worker's retreat. Committed people with their life like madmen. You try to coordinate people like that and you see how easy it is. Of course they are trained. Of course there are principles. But the force of cohesion 
is the ability of the spirit there is an anointing tonight listen i want everybody hearing the sound of my voice inside and outside you're going to make up your mind tonight and say lord i'm tired of this inferiority and complex it may not have been your fault to have come from the background you came from but it can change i love my father he's a great man and I see most of the things that happened in my life with him as ignorance. But there was a time my father spoke to me and said, I was going to become a failure in this life. And his prayer is that I fail alone and not bring other people. About four years ago, my father got down on his knees and asked me to pray for him. The anointing of the spirit will make you a desire of nations. See, Forget about the meager criticisms you will receive. It's nothing compared to the honor. It's one is to one million. It is totally negligible. Believe me. This is what I know. This is what my hands have handled. And I came with this word tonight. The anointing of the spirit is an equalizer. It can cover for everything that went wrong. So you no longer have an excuse no matter what else fails when you are anointed you still remain valuable the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is hear me the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference we are going to pray and tonight i want us to pray because many of us are going to receive there will be a lot of impartations in this place tonight especially for some of us who just came newly don't just come naively open up your heart let something fall on your life and change you forever i have found my servant please give us psalm 89 verse 20. psalm 89 verse 20. 89 verse 20 help us media it's his ability that's why my secret place listen my secret place remains my greatest asset not ministrations the man of god apostle johnson suleiman said something that blessed me one time listen he said he was in the secret place praying and building and planning and something happened a big man supposedly a politician big man he came and spoke to him and said he wanted to see him and uh, he was with god one hour he didn't come out two hours he didn't come out three hours he didn't come out and the wife was already getting embarrassed that how can you leave a big man like this and they went to knock and one of his daughters went to knock and then he opened the door and she was saying daddy why attend to this man let him go and he looked at her compassionately and he said my daughter see them he said do you know why this man is here he's here because of what i am doing the, he's not here because he likes me he's here because there is an anointing he needs he needs direction he needs a prophetic word if i stop doing what i'm doing he will not come back again let him wait that's why my secret place is the greatest so you don't find me gallivanting around i'm like a herbalist you don't see me strolling around and then buying orange peeling it and just moving around no because you are gathered here tonight because you love god it is true but you have come to hear a man who you consider to be anointed and the only reason why you will keep coming and listening and the only reason why nations will keep coming is because of this ability the miracle service is by the corner there are sick people hiv cancer all kinds of oppressed people in this place right now there are families that have traveled kilometers to come and they are trusting god for a touch and so the greatest publicity of a believer men of god get this is the secret place that's the place you receive strength that's the place you receive innovation that is where you receive wisdom. 
he says i have found david my servant and with my holy oil i smeared him with oil that activated an ability let's look at the next three verses 21 with whom my hand shall be established my arm shall also strengthen him the enemy shall not exact upon him nor the son of wickedness afflict him i will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him 24 but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horn be exalted he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side listen my prayer is that the least among us here will be as great as david but you know if you take it from the standpoint of intelligence there are people who are a thousand times more intelligent than you your advantage in the kingdom is the backing of the spirit please listen if you keep me side by side with brilliant people i may not have too much to say if you keep me side by side with intellectuals i may have something to say but maybe not much if you keep me around older people they have experience i may only have little to say if you keep me around people the world is full of cynical people even if i want to bless them they will not believe in me either because i'm not their tribe or because of certain parameters so my bailout is the anointing i got the anointing upon my life jealously i can lose everything but not his presence and the anointing that it brings he says but my faithfulness and my mercy shall be with him and in my name shall his horns listen god can exalt the horn of a man god spoke to us that this is the season of the rain and the rain is already falling i tell you people's stories are changing god is taking people to newer levels of wealth newer levels of the anointing newer levels of the spirit inside and outside some of you are standing there are no seats standing by the fence listen you are face to face with destiny it's not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit if you've never believed in the ability of god in you i want you to believe it ephesians 3 20 and then we'll pray ephesians chapter 3 please verse 20 help us media verse 20 20 3 20 everyone read it together now unto him who is the him the almighty god who is able to do say god is able to do in me whatever he desires god is able to do in me god is able to do in me years ago when i saw these meetings i i i, I would say i didn't believe them but it was difficult to explain it see let me tell you something there are times a vision can be so great there's no point trying to share it because nobody can understand but only be consistent when you begin to birth wonders then the world will know he's a mighty god and i want you to believe him he can change anyone's story god can make you the song of many like david the song upon the mouth of women and children young and old you reign you ancient zion's king kadosh kadosh you are mighty on the earth all oh, sing all oh, fountains of the deep cry out kadosh you are mighty on the earth Oh, sing, oh, fountain 
Listen, the Lord is giving me an instruction. There are at least 15 people that I see. A strong anointing is going to come upon them. Please let me have them outside here. Just those 15 people who are going to pray. But the Lord is ministering to me because He's activating something. It's a substance of the Spirit upon those 15 people. I'm about to pray right now. And the angels of the Lord will separate those people mightily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Father, in the name of Jesus, lift your hands. Lord, where are those 15 people? Right now, in the name of Jesus, let the fire of God draw them out right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Right now, inside and outside. Shkapata, Shekepepeta, Empratos Kalaba. I send the word in the realm of the spirit. Shekebarataba. Reketeteketete. Shekepekelebosh. Let there be that activation. Inside and outside. Those portals. I open it in the name of Jesus. You can't stand it. No, you can't stand it. It's an ability from heaven. It's an ability from heaven. An ability from heaven. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. Never be the same. It's by the power of the Holy Ghost.
not by might. It is not by power. There is an ability. There's God's ability. Listen. Hallelujah. Now listen. The issues in our lives, when the anointing of the Spirit finds expression, it can manifest as creativity. It can manifest as wisdom. Listen. It can manifest as counsel. It can manifest as understanding. I'd like you to pray and cry to God and say, Lord, every dimension that your anointing needs to convert into to solve the current dilemma in my life, if it is wisdom, may your power become unto me wisdom. If it is the power to challenge gates, if it is favor, let it become unto me. Lift your voice and pray. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening in your life. Not just physical healings. A change. Doors are opening in the spirit. I see doors opening. I see doors opening. I see doors. Doors of power. Doors of influence. The Lord is giving men and women speed. I hear speed in my spirit. I hear speed. You will run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. Run like Elijah. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Run like Elijah. By the power of the Holy Ghost. It's God's ability. God's ability is working in me. Hallelujah. 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 There are levels of favor. Only the anointing can bring. There are levels of increase. Only the anointing can bring. There are levels of grace and glory. Only the anointing can bring. I like you to pray that every door of favor you need to enter, may the anointing bring you into it. Lift your voice and pray. The distance between you and a major breakthrough is one door of favor away. No man can stop you. I tell you, when the anointing is upon you, you are invincible. No power can stop you. Break walls, you will climb mountains when the anointing is upon you. When men think you are born with, you will rise by an agency that they cannot understand. It's his ability, it's his ability. Hallelujah. 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 Just one last prayer point. I want you to insist. Listen. I want you to insist and say between now and the end of this month, you must have a testimony. Insist. Lift your voice and pray. Don't pray. Pray of cowardice. You are praying the will of God. 
Shabakata. By the anointing, let it bring proofs, supernatural testimonies in my life, in my finances, in my body. Pray in my academics, in my marriage. Listen to me. From today, I want you to walk in the consciousness that I'm anointed. It has nothing to do with a man of God. You need the anointing to birth ideas, financial ideas. You need that anointing for creativity. Your mind will not think independent of the anointing. You need that idea. You need that creativity. The anointing will bring direction to your life. It's God's ability. It's not your ability. It's God's ability. Hallelujah. Father, I pray in the name of your son, Jesus. From today, let no one here be ordinary. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying over you from the depth of my heart. And I prophesy to you that the mountains that have stood before you and the next dimension in your walk with God, may the anointing of God turn them into testimonies. is a possessor the believer is a possessor blessed is she that believes for unto her there shall be a performance in the name that is above all names everything that has stopped the grace upon your life from finding expression everything that has stopped the grace of God upon your life from being recognized by those who you were sent to I tear off that fail tonight in the name of Jesus that has blocked the flow of grace from the realm of the spirit to you it leaves heaven but it doesn't get to you every pathway in the spirit by whatever mystery that has been blocked I open it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every spiritual inaccuracy in the name of Jesus Every missing the mark spiritually, every disalignment, everything that makes you get it but not complete, you receive things from heaven but you don't get the full details. Right now in the name of Jesus, I supply power to your spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, some of you have dreams but you have an incomplete dream. Just when the information you need in the dream is about to come, then you wake up. You know it was of God. It was holding the...
simple but powerful secret that opens the heavens for a man hallelujah every everywhere that i go everything that i do i'll hear it yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my testimony. Yeah. I'll hear him sana. I'll hear him go by Gajina. Abba Mama Kide. Yes, who Help me, Sam. minutes you alone with your maker lift your voice and cry in whatever way you can and say my god i give you thanks my god i give you thanks go ahead you and your maker for the next 10 minutes for the next 10 minutes cry before him for the next 10 minutes you have done for the battles that you have won only you alone are worthy lord we magnify your name thank you jesus protector redeemer provider defender announcer lifter sustainer we thank you we thank you that the council of darkness has not prevailed over your people we thank you for the miracles we thank you for signs for wonders for food for shelter we thank you for your faithfulness for exalting our hands like the horn of the unicorn we thank you for miracle jobs we thank you we thank you we thank you thank you 
for our families. Oh God, you have been good. Oh God, you have been good. Three more minutes. Give him thanks. Three more minutes. us to thank God in one minute thank God in one minute for ENI and Koinonia I'd like us to thank God for the awesome things he's doing let's tell him we are grateful people for giving us a platform where the sick can be healed where lives can be transformed go ahead and thank him Lord we give you thanks not ashamed to let the world see that you are the mysterious factor behind our advancement we are not ashamed to declare to the world that you are our sustainer defender protector our hope our anchor we have no other God we have no other place you alone oh God deserve the glory of grace and the anointing if it ever embarrasses you to thank God then you will never see his glory if you are ever ashamed and so conscious of your reputation you are so conscious of your emoji man of God I'm a great this and that all those things are nonsense when you come before his presence you throw them aside say faithful God For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you are worthy of our praise We magnify your name For the things you have done And the battles you have won Only you Magnify your name for the things you have done and the battles you have won. Only you are worthy of our praise. Psalms 107. I already sense the power of God. We'll just read this and go straight into the ministrations. Psalms 1. 07 we're going to read verse 6 and then we'll read 28 to 30 I want to show you another mystery two mysteries one is gratitude the second listen is a mystery I've seen this thing many times in the Bible I want you to read it one to read stop just the A part one more time 
it says, then they cried unto the Lord. There is a mystery when a man cries to the Lord. I used to think it meant just lifting your voice and be loud until God opened my eyes. Every time you see them say in their distress, they cried unto God. In their distress, crying unto God is more than talking. Crying unto God first starts with a revelation that Lord, if you don't help me in this issue, I am finished. It's a revelation. For as long as you have options, you will never see God arise in your life. Until you exhaust all your options and you come to a point where you say, Lord, they gave me the drugs in the hospital. But I acknowledge that is crying unto God. That you say, Lord, you are my priority. If you don't give me a husband, I cannot get one. If you don't give me a job, there is no job for me. Crying to the Lord is more than just saying, oh God, help me. Blind Bartimaeus cried. And this was his cry. Thou, son of David, art not thou miracle worker. I know you. I know your power. Will you pass me by and leave me in my distress like this? I'm blind, but I've heard about you. That you are the God who can wipe the tears of people. I've heard about you. That you are the one who makes the barren to sing. I've heard about you. That you are the one who raised Job back. I've heard about you. It says they cried unto the Lord. Whenever you are in trouble, stop discussing. The key is to cry unto God. We have prayer requests here. Many of us are standing, trusting God to touch us. The key tonight is to cry unto God. And the Bible says he delivered them out of their distresses. Verse 28. 28 very quickly. One more time. Let's read. One to read. Again, then they cried unto the Lord in their trouble. And what did he do? He bringeth them out of their distresses. Next verse. He maketh the storm a calm so that the waves thereof, the waves that are killing you, that looks like you will not survive. He says God has the ability. There is something he can tell that trouble. It must hear his voice. Next verse. He says then, as a result, they are glad because they be quiet. So he bringeth them where? Unto their desired heaven. Listen. God knows your intentions. God knows your desire. He has the ability to bring you to where? Your desired heaven. But the key, after gratitude, you are authorized to cry. To cry to the Lord is not an embarrassment. When you cry, you are saying, Oh God, let your goodness and your mercy speak. At this point, it's not because of what I have done. At this point is if it is with my intellect if it's with my money if it's with my connection I have failed I cry to you in my distress in the next one minute before I minister we are going to cry to God listen I told you crying to God is a revelation a revelation that acknowledges him as your only source tonight you are going to say Lord you are the only one you are the only one who can heal me I know this and tonight I cry to you. The Bible says he can calm the storm. He can calm the storm. Oh yes, he can. Lift your voice and cry to your maker. Thou son of David. Let your goodness and your mercy speak over me tonight. Pray. Lord, there is nothing new about my situation. You have done it before. The Bible is full of records of your faithfulness. How you parted the Red Sea before people. How overnight you turned the captivity of men and women. Pray, Lord, I don't know how you will do it, but I know you can do it. They cried unto the Lord in their trouble. He said, call upon me in the day of trouble. Cry to the Lord. My rent has expired. I'm not working. 
I have no idea but I cry to you I have multiple carryovers I don't know what will happen to me but I cry to you thou oh God the lifter up of my head the one who is able to change my story I have not come to an idol it is within your power to help me oh thou Ebenezer arise for me you are my Ebenezer the helper of man God can help you listen to me God can help you God can help you they cried unto the Lord in their distress cry unto the Lord and watch what he will do in your life don't give him options don't give him options Lord you are my only source I cry to you pray my only hope of entering into my desired heaven some trust in horses some trust in chariots but we will trust in the name of our God Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. Lift your voice and sing inside and outside. Step to the impossible, to the impossible. Come on, let your faith rise tonight. No. Lord, step in, Lord, step in to the impossible, to the impossible. One more time. Lord, step in, Lord, step in. Step Hallelujah. The Lord is healing a lady right now. Please check yourself and you just come out to testify before we continue. I'm seeing a lady. You came here with severe pain on your neck. Check it now. Check it now. The Lord is touching you. The Lord is touching you. I'm seeing an elderly man in this place. Um, you've been having pains towards the lower abdominal region. The Lord has just touched that man right now. He's an elderly man. I don't know where that person is. Please testify. Check yourself. And immediately you find out you are healed. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. God is touching people right now. I don't know who I'm seeing an ear. God is touching someone's ear. It's like, I don't know if it's an ear issue. But God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. God is touching it right now. Please check yourself. And make your way right now. Right now, let's just have two or three of those people. God is touching it right now. Right now. Doing a miracle for somebody. Um, I'm seeing somebody that has... I don't know if it's... Um, I don't know what to call it, but... It's like a serious stomach issue. It comes and hooks you. Literally, you are gasping for breath. When that happens to you. It's like it literally holds you check yourself now you'll find out that the lord has touched you make your way to the front very quickly you can make your way right here miracles are happening come on give jesus praise miracles are happening miracles are happening god is touching people right now can you give jesus praise god is touching people 
God is touching people right now. I'm seeing someone with an eye problem. You see like a black object. It comes and goes. It's like a, it's, it looks like a needle. Like a black object. You'll be looking at people and then you will see it. This has happened for a while. But God has touched you right now. Who is that person? Make your way to the front. Right now. I'm seeing someone's left leg outside. In the overflow. There is someone with a left leg issue. Left leg is like you came towards the, 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 um, this area where I'm holding. I'm seeing the power of God touch that area. Check it right now. Check it right now and confirm your healing. And make your way to the front. Check it right now. Confirm your healing. Make your way to the front. Hallelujah. Have they checked themselves? Sir? You've checked yourself? Okay, so quickly. We'll just take two or three. You can turn. Please come up. Come up. Let them come up. When you come, you can stand. Please come up, ma'am. Come up, sir. Go ahead. Just tell us quickly straight to the point. Praise the Lord. Uh, I have an ear issue and it normally scratch me sometimes. Okay. And I'm feeling better by completely give right jesus now. praise hallelujah give jesus praise it never returns to you in the name of jesus yes sir please let's celebrate jesus celebrate what he's doing yes, for some, yes, for some years i have been experiencing pain here pain yes. at the lower abdominal yes, region abdominal yes. Yes. yes you know i gave now, a word of knowledge yes. that there was somebody in lower abdominal. Better. and it's how, better, how about better. now exactly it's better. in the name of jesus christ lord we declare that it is perfected Wow, the power of God is coming on you. It's perfected right now. Never to return to you. In the name of Jesus. Please check it, sir. Check it. Check it right now. Check it. It's, okay. it's check getting it. better. Yes. I'm feeling better. I'm feeling you better. will be perfected in the name of Amen. the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Give Jesus praise. Praise the Lord. For the past two weeks now, I've been having ear pain. Ear it's pain. A, it's an attack. Okay. I have cold. I have kata. So... This thing blocked my ear. I don't used to hear very well. So now I'm I'm okay. Completely. Yes. Madam, what? The Lord is bringing increase for you. I'm seeing attack. I'm seeing a serious attack. Your money has gone down. Yes. Because this this I'm seeing this has to do with. I don't know if you sell hair or you are doing I, something. I have salon in center. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it's like an attack. This thing yes, has gone down. People are not even coming the way it used to be before yes, again. Is yes, that true? Yes. The Lord is saying, I should tell you in this miracle service, a restoration comes for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, a restoration comes for you right now. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus praise. God is visiting situations right now. Visiting situations right now. Go ahead, please, quickly. I want God, because I've been having serious pain on my neck at times. Neck pain. Yes, okay, the lady I said with neck pain. How long? It's like it's for months. It comes and go. At times, it's like my entire head, my ear. It affects my ear. But when you were speaking, I I just turned and I felt it was gone. You felt it was gone. Hallelujah. Now there is a lady. While they were giving a testimony, there's a lady here. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came upon you right now. It's a miracle that God has given you. Who is that person? Come out. You are in this row. Where are you? Come. You felt like a cold sensation. Something just came over you. Come. Come. This night, God is bringing restoration. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, let your anointing bring restoration for her right now. Right now, in the name of Jesus Christ. Tremendous restoration. I'm seeing a crown being put upon your head. Are you together? Are you together? I'm seeing a crown. Oh, you felt the same thing. I'm praying for you. Madam, the Lord is averting CS. The Lord is averting CS because, you see, the anointing is on you. The Lord is averting CS. I'm seeing a spirit standing by the theater. And I'm seeing that this is even supposed to destroy this baby. That they say this baby comes out and is affected. But the anointing of the spirit is upon you right now as I'm speaking. And I release the power of God right now. Let that demonic substance out of her. Now. Out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. 
is your family here? Is the time for the visitation? Where is our family? Please come. There is a whole deliverance for a family that God is doing here right now. I see that family. Please, where is our daddy and our mommy? Please appreciate them as they come. Enough of the nonsense of darkness. Please celebrate them as they come. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Lord, we see miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Sir, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a cause. This is what I'm seeing. As I look at you, the Lord is showing me this is a cause. Number one, it has tied down your finances completely down. This thing is so embarrassing, it has tied down everything. I don't know who is it in your family that has dreams. I see dreams of someone chasing somebody. I don't know which of your children or who now, but I'm seeing one of those people have dreams. That's their daughter. You see the power of God touching her. She's their daughter. She's the person with this case I'm mentioning. I'm seeing dreams and it's like people pursuing the person. This thing started right from your family and this is already following this lady because I'm seeing now that the devil wants to put fibroid in her stomach. It's starting now as pain. I, I remove that fibroid right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cause that seed of fibroid by the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing this woman crying before God in prayer. This is what I'm seeing. This woman has been a defense. I'm seeing her crying before God and saying, Lord, will you not wipe our tears in this family? But tonight, we see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. But every time they want to indicate helping you something just comes and nobody is willing to help you because i'm looking at you in the realm of the spirit i'm seeing a body but i'm not seeing a face this thing has covered your glory whoever is supposed to help you misunderstands you and for some reason they uh, they don't help again hallelujah who is adamu i'm hearing a name adamu adamu i'm hearing something that has to do with adamu Adamu, please help, help those on Adamu, I'm hearing Adamu. Who is that? Adamu. Adamu. Huh? Where is your father? The person I'm talking about, his father's name is the one that is Adamu. Huh? What's your father's son name? Adamu. Adamu. Yes. God is giving Adamu a miracle. Yes. Your father, right? Where is he? In Nasarawa State. In Nasarawa State. Yes, sir. Because this enchantment that is done against your family enough is enough it's part of your prayer request right yes, number five six uh, number two and three yes, number two and three prayer requests yes, look at it there yes, that's sir. it number two and number three that's what you wrote Lord read it miracle read it miracle in your family yes, that's what i'm reading what you are writing and god is giving a miracle yes, a big miracle to adam miracles everywhere I see miracles everywhere Right now Right now Right now Right now see miracles I see miracles everywhere Lord, we see miracles Miracles everywhere The Spirit of God is ministering to me. I'm seeing the anointing of the Spirit. I'm looking at a map and I'm seeing the Spirit of God going to Yola. Yola. A miracle is happening in Yola. And it's going to this lady's family. This lady, right? I'm seeing a miracle. But there are two other people from Yola. From Yola. I see the power of God moving. Two people from Yola. It will come like a tornado upon you. It's a miracle that God is doing right there. There is a lady's elder sister who has been barren. I'm seeing the number three. Three years. Barren. Barren. Help them. That lady is from Yolan. She's an usher. She's walking. But the spirit of God 
I'm seeing a, a wicked demon. This is what I'm seeing. That has been oppressing her family. I don't know if she's from Yola or not. But I'm seeing that God is doing a serious miracle. Sir, I'm going to pray for you. Mommy, I will minister to you. Madam, the Lord is saying I should tell you that the crying is over. The crying is over. Right now as I speak, the power of God is coming on you. The Lord is saying I should tell you the crying is over. Right now, the angel of the Lord is pouring something that looks like oil upon your head. Pouring it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Pouring what looks like vials of oil. Now I curse this spirit. I address you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let this family go now. 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 This curse that has tied down the family. Even the lawful captive shall be delivered. He said, for I will contend with them that contend with you. Right now, the power of God is touching people. I see deliverance, deliverance, deliverance. Deliverance, fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Let's just interrupt this. Deliverance, fire, right now. It will start touching people at the count of three. Father, the angels of God. There are many angels in this place. Bringing deliverance for families. At the count of three. Let that fire come right now. One, two, three. Receive it right now, right now, right now, right now. Makaparatata. Sheketetete. Bring them out. Lekete pratata. Deliverance for families. Outside. I'm seeing the angels of the Lord go outside. Outside. The power of God is moving. It's like fire coming on families. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's like fire. We see miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right now. We see miracles everywhere. We see miracles. Miracles everywhere. Everywhere. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Father, where are those families you showed me in the place of prayer? That from the village. Now, I'm not one who just talks so much about village. But this one is from the village. I see an attack at the count of three. One, two, three. From the village. Those arrows back to sender shakatata leketata reketatata from the village i see enchantments from the village i see altars i see covens i set them on fire i set them on fire i set them on fire they are calling your names from the village from the village enchantments witchcraft death outside outside fire is falling what fire is falling fire is falling from the village speakings of death enchantments of death Yahweh. 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 The name above all names. Yahweh. We call Yahweh. Yahweh.
I'm ready to pray for you now. I didn't just leave you. I need to pray for you. My God, there is massive deliverance going on in this place. My dear, lift your hands where you are. An angel of the Lord is touching you right now. Right now. Mama, an angel of the Lord is touching you. He's doing something in your husband's life. Your husband's life. There is a miracle that is happening. Madam, your time for a miracle has come. Come. This woman, this woman wearing pink. No, no, no. I mean, that one. The one turning back. Yes, you, madam, come. Your time for a serious visitation has come. Let's stretch our hands towards daddy. Bring her. Be delivered now. I curse that spirit. Go! Stretch our hands towards daddy and mommy. Let's pray for them. Father, this plague must stop. I saw a curse. It was looking like a hollow over your head. It follows you everywhere you go and brings bad luck to your life. Father, in the name of Jesus, it's over. By the power of the Holy Spirit, I announce a new season. I announce a new season. Mommy, the spell is broken. Broken, 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 broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, I hold your hands in the name of Jesus and I announce to you that it's a new season. You will go back and experience dramatic turnaround. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't think it will come from all the channels you are planning. Unusual sources of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Madam, I want to pray for you. Do you have a daughter? Is she here? One is here? I'm seeing one of your child here. Where is the person? A girl? A lady? A girl, yes. A lady, where is she? Please call her name, let her come. Daughter, where are you? Who is the person? She's wearing something like traditional dressing. Who is that? Come. This has been your desire that God will visit your family, right? It's been your desire, it's been your prayer yes, that God yes, will visit your family. Yes, and tonight, God has chosen to step in. See, it's an awesome thing when the light of God turns to you. Then you know that your situation has come to an end. I mustn't call you. It's not just by word of knowledge. It's not just by word of knowledge. lady is going to vomit something I'm seeing something that looks like a snake moving in her stomach this is like I don't know if it's poison this is something that has been put to this lady I curse that devil I curse you back to hell back to hell from where you came from hallelujah mommy please stand up let me pray for you man you can stand up please I want to pray for you. God is going to bring dramatic breakthrough to your life. Please, I want you to note it. Dramatic breakthrough. It will so surprise you. Hold my hands. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let captivity come to an end. In the name of Jesus, captivity comes to an end. I release supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough. Supernatural breakthrough in the name of Jesus. And for you, supernatural breakthrough. Mama, I pray. The Lord told me that... The tears have come to an end. It's wiping your tears. Father, thank you for your word. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Remember not the former things the Lord says I should tell you. In this season, he's doing new things. He will change the heart of your husband in a way that you never imagined. He will do this for his glory. The spell of bad luck over your life is broken. Bad luck. There's something about your life that makes people hate you. It's a spirit. And there are people here. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm praying for you. Whatever makes people hate you for no reason, I want you to know that it's not normal. You will see what will happen right now. There are people here. I know that.
people have those kinds of things but there are people with those things it's like an aura on you as i was ministering to her the lord said minister to the house father where are they right now in the name of jesus let the anointing locate them inside and outside that spell of bad luck right now right now in the name of jesus 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 justina the lord is bringing miracles to your family miracles to your family i'm seeing a lady from is it oka oka that should be east I'm, I, oka is anyone from like that i'm seeing a lady our minister generally will pray for the sick now but i just want to flow oka oka is there someone like that please if you are like that you can make your way to the front the lord wants me to pray for that family my dear you with a white hair tie that lady you turning back lift your hands where you are i don't know what it is that i'm seeing but god is destroying an embargo over your life and family lord jesus i destroy it right now in the name of jesus where you are standing i destroy it by the power of the holy spirit you are from there you are from Oka. Where is that? Anambra State. Anambra State. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. You're also from there? Huh? Make your way to the front. You are from there too. Three of you. Look at me. You cannot be a victim, you and your sisters, of the wickedness of people in the village. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Hold my hands. Father, it must end. This must end. It must end by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. This is, this is, I'm seeing enchantment. This is, this is witchcraft to produce consistent failure in life. You and your sisters, I pray for you. Father, you are going to visit them in this season. You are going to visit them in this season. In the name of Jesus. I want to minister to you. You are from there too. Come stand. The Lord gave me that word and said to minister to the people. As I lay my hands and minister to you. I want you to know that everything that does not represent God. Huh? And everyone pursuing you in your dream. And disturbing you. It must end in the name of Jesus Christ. For you. There is, there is, I'm seeing something that looks like a crown in your head. We must remove it because it's not God that put that crown. Out in the name of Jesus Christ, that devil is a liar. Take it off of her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is your mother, my dear? Huh? Abia State. Abia State. We are going to pray for you. Tell your mother that a deliverance is coming for her, then a breakthrough. Deliverance first, then breakthrough. For the deliverance, she will see it in a dream. It's like something will be chasing her to catch her and she will see somebody who will snatch her out. It's a dream connoting deliverance. Father, visit this family. Out! In the name of Jesus Christ. You're a student here? Huh? Yes. We must pray for you so that the spirit that destroys men when they are about to finish huh? in your family, we must stop it. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glorify yourself, O oh God. I curse this spirit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lift your hands, everyone. Before I begin to minister to the sick, God is bringing deliverance to families right now. We are going to shout Jesus at the count of three. This is not just to you, but God is stepping into families. Some of you never knew that what is happening physically in your family is as a result of all kinds of things. Devils. Lift your hands, everybody. At the count of three, you shout Jesus at the top of your voice. And the power of God will move mightily in this place. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that you step into families and end every oppression and every captivity. Right now, I pray by the power of the Holy Spirit. Every family, shaka -ta -ta -ta, under any demonic siege my goodness the power of god is already touching people right now 
at the count of three let that shout be like a chord in the spirit one two three be delivered now 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 altars be broken altars be broken over families over families inside and outside and those following online i break it right now every family under any spell every family that's right kabatakata bring them out shakatatata every family under any spell oh you must leave them you must leave them i speak to those spirits hear my voice in the name of jesus there is no hiding place for you you must go you must go you must go it's time for their deliverance you must go hallelujah my goodness god is doing miracles right now god is so help that lady please help them sisters lift your hands i want to pray for just the sisters something remarkable will happen right now remarkable there is a spirit that puts women in bondage because when one woman is in bondage it can affect a thousand men there are ladies oh my goodness the fire of god will move not small sisters lift your hands lord by fire as the sisters cry that spirit that seraph that follows ladies and causes them visiting them in dreams as you shout jesus my goodness i pray that those fallen spirits that will not let you go that did not keep their original estate they will be judged right now father locate every one of these sisters right now one two shout jesus right now right now right now right now right now those spirits go 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 shakatatata shapatatata lift your hands there are people here strange dreams strange dreams in the night you sleep in the night and you have all kinds of strange dreams from men or women or animals coming to sleep with you or people tying your legs and you see what is happening in the day whether you believe it or not is not the issue i want to settle those things right now lift your hands lord where are these people from the dream realm from the realm of the spirit as you shout the name jesus anyone under this condition some of you that's what is responsible for masturbation some of you that's what is responsible for pornography some of you that's what is responsible for delay lift your hands father those spirits that use the realm of dreams and visions and manipulate destinies manipulate the stars of your people at the count of three we set them on fire fire comes upon you now many guys will be affected one two three oh i bring you deliverance in the name of jesus i cause those spirits causing delay you must leave now 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 Go, 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 go. That spell of delay must leave. Hallelujah. Lift your voice in one minute. I'd like you to pray and cause delay from your life. In the next one minute, open your mouth and say enough is enough. 
I must move forward. Pray. Please pray. Take it seriously. It's called a miracle service. It's called a miracle service. Pray. Lord, I'm tired of delay. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Prophesy. I'm moving forward. This is the ninth month. By the blood of Jesus. I'm moving forward. I'm moving forward. Under this anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I like you to shout after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Every gate and every obstacle standing between me and the next level by the blood of Jesus I bring those gates down open your mouth and begin to pray gates of limitations standing before me and my desired heaven gates of limitation standing before me in the name of Jesus gates of limitation standing before me and my desired heaven outside make sure you are praying pray you will return with a testimony you are praying under a corporate anointing hallelujah hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus everything that belongs to me and is not yet in my life in this season by the power of faith I command them to manifest open your mouth and begin to pray open your mouth and pray come on koinonia everything every lifting every glory that belongs to me and has refused to manifest by the power of faith even God who quickened the dead and called those things that be not as though they were hallelujah hallelujah Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every legal access. Every claim. The devil has. Over my life. Over my family. By the blood of Jesus. I declare that I'm free. By the blood of Jesus. I command my liberty. I declare. That the price. For my freedom has been paid therefore satan stay off my life open your mouth and begin to pray stay off my life the price has been paid by the death of jesus every cause every yoke every spell every enchantment by the blood of jesus Pray. Sheba kata balada bakata prekere balada bok. Mondo to prokoto balada bakata prekere balada bok. Raga daga 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 hallelujah I want you to listen to me carefully I'm doing this by the spirit listen many breakthroughs are happening to people just from this simple prayer I wish that God could open your eyes to see the things that are happening to people 
You are, this is not just your normal prayer. You are under a heavy anointing. Listen. Human beings have prophetic atmospheres. The ark of God came into the house of Obed-Edom and brought him good. Jonah entered a boat and made people to be destroyed. Listen. Some of you are good people, but you are carrying a spiritual atmosphere that brings bad luck to you and everybody connected to you. That's what prophets sometimes will see and because they don't have discernment they call people witches and wizards they are not witches and wizards they are sincere people but they carry a spiritual climate that everywhere they go it makes certain things to happen do you understand now some of you are sincere people but you are carrying atmospheres that makes everything around your life to fail we are going to pray say after me in the name of jesus by the blood of Jesus. This is strong prayer. This simple prayer you are saying. You will see the result instantly. I like you to pray and say every atmosphere. That I carry. That does not come from God. And is responsible. For bad luck. And misfortune. In my life. Tonight. I declare let that atmosphere change lift your voice and pray seriously lift your voice and pray seriously every negative atmosphere kaparatata pray miracles are happening pray every negative atmosphere pray that brings bad luck I may be a sincere person but it brings repeated misfortunes I challenge it whether ancestral whether territorial I challenge it I change my spiritual climate by the blood of Jesus hallelujah Two more prayer points and we'll pray for the sick. Hallelujah. We are going to pray a prayer of restoration. Do you believe in restoration? Nothing is ever truly lost. It only leaves your presence. I like us to pray. Yeah, that's the song. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be restored unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. One more time. Forget about your situation. Just prophesy. Just prophesy. You may not know how it will happen. Just prophesy. One more time. Prophesy. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. All the years all the fortunes every opportunity every access that has been lost in my life by the mercy of God I command them to come back to me go ahead and pray this is a serious prayer point all the years all the fortunes all the opportunities all the access that have passed your life pray like Samson pray like Hezekiah pray let there be a restoration and I will restore to you the years that the canker worm the palmer worm, 
the caterpillar hallelujah hallelujah we're going to pray the last prayer point listen there are spirit entities that challenge and haunt the destiny of people in the realm of the spirit when jesus was born certain men saw his star from the east and they started following that star and the moment they announced to herod a king is born herod said ah a king he said please find where he is and tell me so that i will come and worship him but his intention was to kill him you are going to pray over your destiny please take this prayer point seriously shout it say in the name of jesus i declare that my destiny is secured by the blood every act of witchcraft that has tied down my destiny right now by the blood of jesus release it now pray pray release my destiny release my destiny my prophetic potential release it release it hallelujah prophesy after me say in the name of jesus this is my year of the rain it's a new dimension for me i'm breaking every limitation say it again i'm breaking every limitation and i declare that in this remaining part of the year an anointing comes upon my life that causes me to triumph that causes me to excel go ahead and pray it lord is my year of the rain an anointing comes upon my life a speedy walk by the holy ghost a speedy walk of restoration a speedy walk hallelujah we're going to do two things at the same time right now listen if there is any trace of sickness and infirmity in your body it's time for it to die are we together now are we together now please just address these people we're going to have all those people come and line up while that is happening please i beg you if you do not write anything in your prayer request please if you need papers maybe the ushers can pass it we are going to be praying on everybody's request those on facebook some of your loved ones you are permitted to switch off your switch on your phone and tell them please send in your prayer request because god is about to do something right now while you are doing that be praying in tongues everybody be praying in tongues while sick people all those who brought sick people make your way to the front very quickly please very quickly all those trusting god for healings and miracles please just line up everything that was lost shall be returned unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you everything that was stolen shall be restored unto you everything that was lost shall be restored unto you the devil is a liar he must let you go tonight that was stolen hallelujah we don't just lay hands on people i know that it takes a lot of time but it's the way god is directing us it's not just ordinary hand laying it's a prophetic point of contact some of you are coming out for sickness but the truth about it is that there is an oppression of darkness is that the mama with cancer okay no no problem no problem she can come 
If she cannot stand, just give her a seat. Let her sit down, please. Those who are weak and cannot stand, please, you can give them a seat so that they don't collapse. The, the woman with cancer, if she, if she cannot come, just I'll minister to her. Everything that was lost. Make sure you are writing your prayer request, please. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto us. Hallelujah. All of you that are coming out, I want you to know that we are patient enough to minister to us. There are all kinds of ministries. This ministry is like a spiritual factory. It's like a spiritual workshop. It's where we dirty our hands on the job. And as I minister to us, please, I want our hearts to be open. Don't just stand watching the power of God touch people. The moment I lay hands on you and minister to you, I want you to receive. You can go back to your seat. Some of you will be under the anointing. It doesn't matter. As I pray for you, you don't have to scrounge. I will lay hands on everybody. It's going to be a quick walk. It will take time. Please, when you write your request, pass it to the ushers. In case there are things, listen, listen. Let me teach you how to maximize this prayer point. Don't just write things carelessly. While you are writing, be praying in tongues. Because the Spirit of God will bring into your mind, bring you into remembrance. It may even be a matter that is not your own. You heard the story of the gentleman. Dropped a prayer point and nine months later, they are coming with twins. There is nothing God cannot do. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people. There are powers tying down their destinies. But you have put this miracle service as a prophetic platform. Let there be miracles. Go ahead. All of us, we can join praying in tongues while I pray for these people. Occasionally worship team, you will help us. Lord, we give you praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look at this. I don't know, they can't see it on screen. It's not clear. This is a leg that is bent. Father, do a miracle. They didn't fix it well. In the name of Jesus, right now. Let the power of God do a miracle on this leg. In the name of Jesus. Almighty God, you know me, man. You know me, man. point number two lord i take full delivery of everything you package uniquely for me tonight lift your voice i will not miss out on anything yes. hallelujah who brought this woman please huh? what's the issue what's wrong hallelujah we'll soon be rounding up let's just hear no 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 keep us standing what's wrong I'm paralyzed, paralyzed. Yes. mama can she talk yes mama for how long I Paralyzed. Did. Yes, I went to the house and met She can't walk on her own. She can't walk very well. Mama, in the name of Jesus Christ, I curse this spirit. 
it's okay. In the name of Jesus. Mama, look at me. In Jesus' name. Lift your hand. Lift it. Go. Don't look at it. Just lift it. Put it down. Lift it again. Paralyzed hand. Look at this. Look at this. Mama, clear the way for her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Walk. Come. Don't hold her. Come. 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 Turn around. Turn around. Walk. Come. Come. Come on, give Jesus we praise. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Paralyze. Miracles everywhere. Right now. Right. We see miracles. We see miracles. We see miracles. Right now. Right now. In the name of Jesus. Break the power of paralysis. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, you are the son that brought her. Are, she's not your mom, yes. but you brought her. Yes. I pray for you. May you never lack helpers in your life. Because you are a young man, you are not related to her. Yet you carried mama out of compassion. This miracle is because of you. I'm laying hands on you and I prophesy to you. All the days of your life, may helpers be around you like peace in the name of jesus christ for as long as your eyes can see the sun you will find a helper in the name of jesus christ god bless you celebrate mama god bless you there's a miracles everywhere make sure you submit your prayer request everywhere Ministry, I want you to come out. I, I don't mean you want to do ministry, you are actively in ministry. Come and stand here. It's time for you to take fresh fire. Please, if you come out and you are not a minister, I will send you back. I assure you, don't embarrass yourself. If you're a minister and you know, not just that you sense the call of God, please don't embarrass yourself. We are going to pray for everybody. But if you're a minister, come go ahead, don't be afraid. We're in a season of God's glory. Please listen. We're in a season of God's remarkable grace. It takes signs and wonders. Not just grammar and story. The Bible is not waiting for the explanation of the sons of God. For the manifestation. Please, I'd like you to believe. I'm going to do this very fast. The Lord has instructed me. Immediately after we do that, all visitors, visitors alone. I will not lay hands on you, but I'll pray for you. And then we'll pray for the request prophesy and we'll, uh, we'll do all this within the next 
10 minutes so that we are done Father, I pray it's not by might, it's not by power. Lord, as I lay hands upon your servants, let something new, something divine. My God, I pray, activate the gifts of the Spirit in them, activate the operations of signs and wonders. Shkabalata. Let utterance be given unto them. Let their lives, oh God, produce results. Results, oh God. Results. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. By your hand. Take the fire. 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 Take the fire, 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 fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, new levels. Fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, new dimensions, fresh grace. My goodness, fire is falling, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh fire, fresh grace, fresh anointing, new anointing, new dimension. Gifts of the Spirit. Visions. Dreams. Prophecies. Multiplied graces. I prophesy to all of you. Let it be a new season. In the name of Jesus. New season. New season. New season. I empower you. For a new dimension in the Spirit. I empower you. Fresh grace. Fresh grace. Please stretch your hands towards the prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayers shall all flesh come. Please stretch your hands. It's a prophetic instruction God gave us. We have seen amazing testimonies. If there are still people left, please let them come. Let them drop it very quickly. In one minute, I'd like you to begin to pray. Lord, it's time to turn my story around. My goodness. As we pray, miracles will begin to happen to people. Right in the crowd. Right in the crowd. As I'm touching the request, something is happening to you. Something is happening. I'm seeing angels lightning all over. All over. All over. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Go ahead and pray, everyone. Ba 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 
miracles happening in the realm of the spirit father turn these requests into testimonies the way I walk on them oh God these problems remain under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ under our feet forever in the name of Jesus Christ all our visitors please come out quickly if you're a visitor here Visitor, this is your first time. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to us last year. He said we should prophesy and pray over the visitors. Some of you have traveled kilometers. You have traveled from different states of this nation. Risking yourself through the night. Please make sure you come. Clear the way for them. You are a visitor. This is your first time you are coming here. Make your way to the front. Let's celebrate them. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see what I'm saying, people? The number of visitors that troop in every week into Zaria for Koinonia is getting so much. We have to find something to start doing around your regions so that we save some of you transporting yourself Maybe we'll open a branch of Koinonia in all those places. Maybe we'll come to your village. <laughs> Hallelujah. But seriously, we're trusting God for instructions for the next level. And I'm sure that very soon he's going to speak. But I perceive that very soon there's going to be a lot of expansion because of what God is doing. Hallelujah. Are you glad about that? Let's celebrate Jesus. God has brought you here. Your life will never be the same. Please lift your hands. Father, you have brought these people all the way. Some of them with burdens. Some of them coming to catch fire. I stretch my hands towards you. Kaborato shatabaladaba. Nandekalekoroto sutoprashia. My goodness, I see impartations happening to people. Those of you standing, I'm seeing impartations. It's like rain. Rain touching people. That's what I see. These are showers of blessings, showers of miracles. I prophesy to you from tonight. Help them, help them, help them, help them, please. I prophesy to you. Step into new levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Step into new dimensions. This is Koinonia, a place of encounter. It's not just the name of a meeting. It's the name and the dimension of the operation of the Spirit. We bless you with hunger for God. We bless you with passion for the things of the Spirit. I'm praying for you. You will go back with such fire. You will go back with such passion you will not recover from. I pray that everything that has not been working in your life, let it be activated tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I welcome all of you. Thank you so much for coming. This is Koinonia. A meeting put together by Eternity Network International. We're here every Friday. Um, this is not our usual venue. Our venue is Christ Gospel Church at New Extension. But we thank you for coming. I bless you in the name of Jesus. And I'm praying for you from the depth of my heart. And on behalf of everyone in this ministry. And the many who are joining us online. That you will return with a strange miracle. In the name of Jesus. You will return with a strange miracle. Some of you, even before you get home, your miracles will be waiting for you. Some of you, this night, you will have dreams and encounters. And the veil over your eyes will be open. Some of you, this night, God will show you what has been happening in your life. God will show you direction. 
I see God giving a lot of you direction, direction for the next level. You will hear his voice very accurately. In the vision of the night, in the vision of the night, he will show you in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless you. For those of you who have never been here, I want you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details outside very quickly and then you'll come and join us. Those of you who have been here and we have received you, you can just go back to your seat with a blessing. But those of you who have never been here, you've not put down your name, we need your names and details. I want you to make your way here in the name of Jesus. Everybody rise as we receive the last prophecy for the meeting. Now you be God. God. You know be my name. You know be my name. Now him be God. more times now you be God, be God. Praise the Lord. Tomorrow morning we are off to Pogi State. We are going to be tearing down the walls of darkness. Trust God to set that territory free. Pray for us and if you come from Pogi, stand by us and tell and let's trust God to really do something apostolic in that land in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now please, this for me, you always hear me say this. I consider this to be the most important part of the meeting because this is where everybody gets to receive the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of prophecy this is where the word of God comes into you like a drug and literally literally alters you and so I want you to receive with your heart open hallelujah please receive with your heart open in the name of Jesus Christ as I pray for you, I want you to receive by shouting a resounding amen. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. I prophesy no more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears in the name of Jesus. No more tears, no more tears. Kapakatata. No more tears in the name of Jesus. These hands that are lifted, I prophesy. May a supernatural anointing come upon it. Let it begin to produce extraordinary results. In the name of Jesus Christ. Extraordinary results. I pray for everyone due for promotion. And every of your loved ones due for promotion in the name of Jesus we cause the embargo stopping their promotion and we prophesy promotion there will be testimonies of promotion the power of God is touching people everyone and every family called jobless I feel like fire on my hands as I'm about to pray this Please help them. I feel like fire on my hands. Everyone represented here and every family called jobless. Right now in the name of Jesus, I release an anointing for supernatural jobs. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Help them please. Receive it, receive it. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Testimonies of jobs. Every delay in your life that has stopped you from entering where you should enter now. The anointing that came on Elijah that he girded his loins 
and run receive that anointing right now I cause delay in the name of Jesus I cause delay in the name of Jesus Everyone who has vowed that over their dead body for you to rise and your family to rise, I declare that to their shame, my God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. My God will lift you before them. Everyone who says, Can anything good come out of your life? I prophesy to you in this season. God will use your life to answer them. God will use your life to answer them. I pray for you in the name that is above all names. Whoever needs to come into your life in this season. No, let's start it this way. Whoever needs to go out of your life this season. In the name of Jesus. If their presence has been causing you pain and setback, I break you free from them now. Wrong associations, be free from them now. Wrong relationships, we break it now. Wrong soul ties, we break it now. Wrong connections, we break it now. Wrong fraternities, we break it now. We break it now. We break it now. I command them out of your life. Out of your family. Listen. Some of our parents, the trouble in their life is because they have wrong friends they will never leave. They keep influencing them to make useless decisions. I pray for every family. Any stranger manipulating the destiny of any family through the counsel of Ahitophel, today we send them packing from their homes. Packing from your homes. In the name of Jesus. Until Samuel appeared, the destiny of Saul remained covered. Until Jesus appeared, 12 years of hemorrhage continued. Whoever must appear in your life, Whoever must appear, Magato Dopata. You hear me talk of destiny helpers all the time. Your next level comes from God, but through the hands of a destiny helper. From the realm of the spirit, destiny helpers, I call you. From the north, from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west, wherever you are, locate God's people come into their lives in the name of Jesus every academic challenge you have tried and done everything you know to do but you need a miracle in the name of Jesus I release my faith upon with you. Receive academic miracles. Now, 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 now. We activate angels to faculties, angels to departments, angels to faculties, faculty of art, science, environmental design, medicine, engineering, administration, education. We release them now. Miracles in the name of Jesus. That favor anointing that makes men run to look for people to bless them. I pray for you. When the favor of God came upon my fever shed, Saul looked for him and blessed him. Receive favor right now. 
unusual favor uncommon favor uncommon favor in the name of Jesus before I pray the last prayer point listen if you are here and you have not given your heart to Jesus Christ please I can't pray this last prayer point without making this sure because I want to pray something dangerous if you are here you have never given your heart to the Lord please listen inside and outside or you once gave your heart to Jesus Christ but for some reason you see they're already coming out follow them you found out that you need to make your ways right please our time is limited in one minute inside and outside you're welcome make your way to the front God bless you bless you they are coming going on and celebrate them don't sit back don't sit back this is a family this is not all of you I believe there are still some people outside clear the way for them please clear the way God bless you sirs bless you sirs celebrate them Jesus is calling you God bless you ma calling you to give you a new beginning please if you are coming clear the way for them so that they don't become discouraged motivate them clap for them thank you Jesus come run to Jesus Christ he will give you a new beginning if the Holy Spirit is telling you to come out come out don't sit back there don't sit back there. Many of you are hearing the nudging of the spirit. He's saying, why are you sitting down? Don't argue with him. Make your way. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for coming out, brothers and sisters. I want to lead you in a prayer of salvation. It's not a poem. It's not a special number. It's a, it's a genuine prayer of dedication. God bless you. Hallelujah lift your right hand high to heaven and say this very passionately please you are not reciting a poem this is not an article you are praying to god this is a prayer that is going to save your soul and redeem you and empower you to be great say lord jesus i believe in you and i love you with all my heart i ask you to forgive me my sins i receive jesus christ into my heart be my lord be my savior from today my past is gone it's a new beginning i receive eternal life into my spirit the old is gone and the new has come in the name of jesus christ i pray for you right now i stretch my hands father these ones have come to make a decision for you i pray that this decision will be permanent they will never backslide no going to the world no going to the flesh i release grace upon you to live the victorious christian life in the name of jesus christ every wrong association every company of wicked and senseless people you will not have any appetite and desire to be close to them again you will love them but you will not associate with them again i receive grace for you to edit your friends wicked and unreasonable people are far from you forever in the name of Jesus Christ I bless you congratulations in the name of Jesus it's a new beginning please follow the gentleman waving his hands and they will have your details will follow you up in the name of Jesus please lift your hands for the last prayer point I want to pray for the gifts of the Spirit to fall upon your life this is why I said we have to pray for them please lift your hands just a quick walk in one minute some of you have passionately desired certain things some of you have had dreams but you cannot understand god is speaking to you there are many of you that have longed to hear the voice of god you are praying and somehow you hear it but there is no clarity and direction there are some of us that are trusting god for newer levels of the anointing the gifts of the spirit please lift your hands in one minute i'm going to pray there will be a great impartation upon you all the gifts of the spirit the nine recorded in the bible and every other one that is available in god father i'm praying right now as your people shout i receive let there be mighty impartations there are people here who will carry strange fires strange grace at the count of three shout i receive one two three receive it right now right now right now right now gifts of healing impartations Visions, 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 prophetic encounters. Receive it right now. 
in the name of Jesus word of knowledge word of wisdom gift of leadership administration dreams visions entrepreneurship every gift available receive it now now please help that lady so she doesn't enjoy herself i pray for you what you could not do by the gift of the spirit go and begin to do it where you could not enter by this new anointing go and enter nothing dies in your hands in the name of jesus christ hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you